Today, we are going to be going through my art studio on a hunt. I'm talking, we're gonna be ripping open cupboards, pulling open drawers, and just <gasps> searching for art supplies that I completely forgot I had. After we find these art supplies in my studio, we are going to create an art piece with all of my forgotten art supplies. This is kind of scary because I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna find, therefore, I don't know what I'm gonna make. We're just gonna make the best with what we have and what we find and see what happens. Now my art studio isn't very organized, so when I say we are digging through my stuff, I mean we are digging through my stuff. Now this entire thing, this search for forgotten art supplies, is actually inspired by a game called Dune's Journey, and it is a hidden object mystery game. And I thought it would be fun to find forgotten objects in my studio. But June's Journey is actually sponsoring today's video. So June's Journey is a murder mystery game and there's a whole cast of characters and it's like 1920s themed. I like this game because the illustration style is very interesting to me. And as an artist, you know, finding hidden objects and just admiring the artwork and the beauty of the game is very appealing to me. And I think it will be really appealing to you too. So yeah, this is a murder mystery and June Parker here is the protagonist that's trying to solve the murder of her sister. And there's a lot of family secrets that she finds out along the way. June Parker also has her own way of trying to solve friends problems and just getting out of sticky situations in interesting ways. Now in some ways we're gonna be like June Parker because we're gonna search my room for these forgotten objects and who knows, maybe we'll get ourselves into a sticky situation too, but have our own witty way of solving the problem by creating weird artwork. Look at how beautiful the artwork is. So this is a free to download mobile game. So I'll include a link in the video description where you can click it and download this game if you wanna play it as well. So yeah, we have to find objects in this like really beautiful scenery. Look at that, my goodness. All right, we're searching for clues in the Orchid Island estate right now. I need to find a clock. Found it. I found the keys, I found the keys. A hat box, oh, I found the hat box. Okay, a shell, a shell. I found it. Okay, I need to find this bell and this flag though. <gasps> the flag! Okay, there's a bell, there's a bell. Guys, I can't find the bell, it's making me nervous. Is this it? Oh, I found a dog. Where's the bell? <gasps> I found it, I found it! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Scene cleared! So the more stars you unlock, the more places that you unlock that you can go and find more clues at. So yeah, right now I'm working on the Orchid Island estate. But anyway, I wanted to tell you about June's journey because I'm really enjoying the game myself. And since we're searching through my studio to find forgotten supplies, First, I wanna tell you, you should do the same. Try to find your old art supplies and create something. Who knows what you'll find? But also, it's really fun playing games where you have to find objects. So if you would like to try playing June's Journey and solving this murder mystery with me. Again, it's a free mobile game. It's available on Android and iOS. And if you don't wanna get it on your phone, you can play it on PC through Facebook games. So there you go. The link is in the video description, so check it out. All right, folks, let's get our detective work on. We're gonna find some forgotten art supplies and make something. We're gonna start with my closet because I feel like I never go through here. Oh, ooh. Well, I did not even know I had them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of forgot I had this. This is kind of cool. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is a thing I doodled a long time ago. This is a pad of paper. We're gonna take it. Here are our choices from the closet. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what is this? Okay, a rainbow pencil. Definitely forgot I had that. What's this? Ooh, <gasps> jelly rollers. Forgot I had those. Wait, is this a white, a white pastel charcoal type pencil? I have no idea where this is going and it kind of scares me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Definitely forgot I had this. What's in here? Ooh, whoa. 
a bunch of origami paper. Definitely forgot I had that. Ooh, I'll take all of these. Hmm. I don't think I even knew I had this one. Maybe. This is getting kind of scary. Oh my goodness. What's in here? Mm. I definitely haven't used this in years, probably. I used to be obsessed with these. Ooh, there's a couple of them. Well, I feel like I'm just gonna grab this because we have a lot of weird things. Oh, I have not looked in this bucket in a long time. Oh, whoa. <laughs> this is like a bunch of gouache paint. And I've been using acrylic gouache, so I haven't even used regular gouache in a long time. I think I have an old gouache palette. I don't even remember if this is gouache, so this is scary. Oh my goodness. All my other jelly rollers. What's in here? Hmm. Definitely forgot I had these. What's in here? No idea what's in this. <gasps> Scary stuff. Okay, we'll take it. Ooh, I like this. So we have these forgotten supplies and these. So saying that I am a bit intimidated by using all of these items we found is a bit of an understatement. I don't even know how they're gonna go together, but we're gonna make this work somehow. So we have a bunch of different types of paper, a chunk of a tree we've got. <laughs> I hope this is gouache. A really old crusty gouache palette that's definitely been forgotten. Y'all, what are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We have these random markers <laughs> and then there's these, like why did I grab them? I think we have to use this piece of wood. So that's probably gonna happen first. I feel like I just went shopping in my own studio. It's kind of awesome. But this is fun because I'm using things I already have. Okay, so we have this piece of wood here. I have this old pad of paper with <laughs> actually a Zen tangle that I did <laughs> years ago. I don't know if you remember this. This might be a cool thing to recycle. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, this is palette paper? That is utterly depressing. <laughs> I thought it was watercolor paper, that's so sad. Um, we didn't grab any watercolor paper for this. We did find some beautiful gold tape though. So the first thing I want to do, I guess I'm gonna use my palette paper because I need a palette and my gouache palette is super crusty. So if I have this cool palette paper, I should use this more because I am the queen of crusty palettes. Let's just dig through here and find some color. Mm, I like that. Definitely gonna use this. Maybe red. Is there like a royal blue in here? Cause that sounds cool. Ultramarine blue. I think we're good. Okay, so let's begin by covering this with some paint. I would tell you I have a plan, but that would be a lie because you all literally saw me hunt down these art supplies. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, this is metallic. Ooh, I did not know that. Ooh, and this is crusty. Ooh, oh, I just wanna use all these bright colors. My goodness. I wanna cover this first. Wow, this is so pink. This already feels like slightly intimidating. Wow, it's already drying so bright. Right after I did that layer, I think I changed my mind on everything that I want to do. This is bad, but bear with me. We're gonna cover this again. I feel like we need a different vibe. Okay, this is a better decision. We need to root through this bin of gouache and hope we have 
Oh my goodness, I was just gonna say, let's hope we have gold. Look what was in my hand. What even are the odds of that happening? Ooh, I also have yellow ochre. Ooh, I have another gold. We'll let this dry. In the meantime, let's explore our origami paper. Hmm. Ooh, that would match. This is cool. This is really pretty. I also have these unopened origami papers. They look really shiny. I don't really know if the tulip ones are gonna fit my vibe. So we might just omit that. Might just take a snack break and a June's journey break while I wait for paint to dry. So I want to do something kind of 1920s-ish, but obviously with my own flair because I'm using forgotten art supplies. So I'm gonna have to somehow make it work. I have this gold gouache. Found some white, ooh, pearl emerald, that's metallic. So I think I want to do like a stripe across the page with this, which is kind of intimidating. And I have to use these scissors somewhere because I grabbed them and I forgot I had them. A little scary, but we're committed to making this work. Ready? That was kind of intimidating. Glad I grabbed this tacky glue. This is so unlike what I normally do. <laughs> That's the fun of art. You can just do weird stuff like this and it's okay. Let's use this white. I think we'll also want some gold. Oh my goodness, this is chaotic. First, let's do some wainscoting. Okay, um, this is a shot in the dark and I don't know if it will work or not. Because this is gouache. And this is an alcohol-based marker. And I do not anticipate this working, but I'm gonna try. Oh my goodness, how is this working? Okay, I cannot believe that worked. I'm just gonna add more details. So far, this is how it looks. We're gonna take some gold paint for the wallpaper. Ooh, I like that. Oh my goodness, that gold is beautiful. I'm loving this background. It's definitely giving me bathroom vibes. Maybe this is because it's close to what I'm kind of dreaming up for one of my bathrooms, except dark green. It's painted, but this is not the finished product at all. This is just one layer. So we have a lot of other art supplies that we need to use. Let's just be real, that's a little intimidating, especially because I didn't grab watercolor and paper. So I have this. I need to get an animal and clothing going on here. So I want to do a cat for this. And ooh, it needs to fit as well. I don't want it to be massive, you know? Now this thing will eventually be wearing clothing, but we need to do our own thing to this. These Prismacolor markers, I honestly have no idea how old they are, but we're gonna try to use them on this cat. It's called Deco Peach. Oh, it's not a brush marker? For real? Wait, it is, it is, okay. No idea if this is gonna show up or not, but one can hope. We need eyes. Let's take this charcoal pencil and do fur. This is kind of adorable. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of this video, I said this was intimidating, but now that I've had time to process exactly what I'm doing, this is kind of liberating because I found random stuff with no plan, no pressure, no purpose except for the purpose of creating. And I'm creating, and this is fun. I'm making this weird looking cat on craft paper right now. I made it smiling less because it looked too much like a ferret or something. I think I might cover up the weird little nostrils I did too. That looks more cat-like. I just remembered we had these jelly rollers. I'm gonna do some stippling on the nose with this and in the ears. Dark metallic blue, don't mind if I do for those eyes. I can say we use the jelly rollers now. Hmm, I'm gonna use this Micron pen. Oh, this Micron pen is forgotten about because it has nothing in it, it's burnt out. 
Sorry. Meow. <sighs> now is the fun part. We get to take this little cat and put it on our little scene here. Oh, he's smaller than I thought he would be. I thought he'd be up here. Well, that's okay. What do you think about that? That's a good spot. So we need to come up with an outfit. I have this. I also have various sheets of paper that I could use. I'm gonna stick with this for now. So we still need to use these beautiful watercolor palettes. I don't think we need to dip into every single one of them. Just use one of them and that's fine. So I want to do maybe like a dark moody outfit. Since I'm cutting this out, I'm just gonna like do this for now. This is chaotic. <laughs> I also feel like this is too close in color to the background. Oh my goodness. I also just had a realization. Folks, this stuff. Oh no. And I have this rainbow colored pencil I need to use. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing. We can improvise where needed. I love how impromptu this feels. Okay, this paper is gonna buckle quite a bit, but that's all right. While this square is drying, I have something else. We have this bright stuff, right? Honestly, I haven't even looked through these yet, but this though, I really wanna use that. <gasps> Whoa, get out of here. <gasps> There's gold. Oh, my friends. We might have to do that. Okay. Oh, there's blue. Stop it. I didn't know there were different colors. Do you know how flappers have those feathery headbands? I wanna try something like that. I'm just gonna take this rainbow pencil to draw a feathery thing. Okay, it looks weird now, but bear with me. Oh wow, that's massive and I don't know if I want it to cover the ear. I mean, I could offset it to the side. No, I don't know. What about this side? I could do like a piece behind and maybe another piece up front. Oh, I'm gonna try that. Okay, that is cuter. Now these are feathers, so I guess if they stick up weirdly, like whatever, that's fine. So the next thing I'm super excited about, it is this beautiful golden washi tape. I think I'm gonna make it be like the headband. In my efforts to make this stand out a little bit, I'm also just gonna do I think it needed it. Now I'm gonna take this piece of origami paper and cut out like a little teardrop looking thing. I'm gonna put like this jewel in the middle, you know, cute little flapper headband. The contrast here is not the greatest. Sometimes there's like little jeweled things that hang. I wonder if I should do that. Like, can you tell it's a flapper headband? It's hard, I don't have <laughs> many choices of supplies. I mean, I do, I have a ton of supplies. It's just hard to convey it. <laughs> okay, is this dry? I think it is. So I'm using this for the outfit. It needs to have like a fancy outfit, you know? So we're gonna make the collar be like a V-neck. Oh, this will be good. This will be very good. We're gonna make this into a fancy dress. Now, we are going to use the charcoal that's hidden in here. It's not gonna be super noticeable, but it will add some subtle dimension. We're bringing the gold back. We're gonna do a lot of fancy sequins and stuff to tie in with the flapper headband. I kind of like the idea of the cute little jeweled ribbon things. I saw some on Google that had these like cute beads and stuff and I kind of want to do that now. Okay, 
Okay, those details are hardly noticeable at all, but we can say we officially used all the art supplies. There are some things in this pencil pouch we didn't use, but I'm counting the pencil pouch as a whole and not everything that's in this because it's a little ridiculous and unrealistic at this point. But my goodness, can I just show you this? Our little 1920s cat. Our little flapper cat. <laughs> I have been painting a lot of animals wearing clothes and actually my next video, you're gonna see a massive painting. It is an animal wearing clothing. I'm just gonna say that if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know what it is. I really enjoyed doing this and it was fun to use a game as inspiration for a video. Like I said, I've been really enjoying playing June's Journey and the fact that you can search for hidden objects in that game just really sparked something in me, you know? Why don't I search for forgotten objects in my art studio? Because they're kind of like hidden anyway, you know? So it pushed me out of my comfort zone. I mean, like never in a million years would I have ever just sat there and thought like, let's paint a flapper cat on a piece of wood using a ton of random art supplies. <laughs> But we did it, and this was really enjoyable. I highly encourage you to check out June's Journey. The artwork in the game is immaculate. It is so beautiful. So if anything, get it for the artwork, seriously. I will put the link down below and you can download it, play it, and I think you'll enjoy it. This, for me, was very recharging because I took inspiration from a game and I applied it to art and that was so cool. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Once again, click the link in the video description to download June's Journey and play as well. I just have to say, I love creating with you. This was so fun. I, I know I've said that like a million times, but yeah. I also want to do a video where I just use this pencil. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.